Okay, so there's a lot going on in this equation here. We have sodium amide plus sodium nitrate. Let's count the atoms up and try to balance it. We have one sodium here, plus we have one sodium here. So we have two sodium atoms. Hydrogens, we have two. Nitrogens, we have the one here, plus we have the one there. So we have two nitrogens and then three oxygen atoms. So you have to make sure you're careful and count these up correctly. On the product side, we have one sodium plus this one sodium here. So that gives us two of those. Hydrogen, we have one plus we have three here. So we have four hydrogen atoms. Nitrogen, we have three plus we have the one here. That gives us four. It looks like we just have one oxygen atom. All right, I like to leave the oxygens to last. That usually seems to work pretty well. Why don't we balance the hydrogens here? We could just put a two in front of the sodium amide. And now we need to update the sodiums, nitrogens, and hydrogens. So for the sodium, we have one times two plus the one here. That gives us three hydrogen, two times the two. That'll give us four of those. And nitrogen, one times two plus the one right here. That gives us three. Although I usually like to balance the oxygens last, I think I'm going to balance. I'm going to put a three here in front of the sodium hydroxide. Let's see what that does. So we have one sodium here plus the one times the three. That gives us a four. Hydrogens, we have one times three. So that's three plus the three. That gives us six. And then oxygens, one times three. That'll give us three. So the oxygens are balanced. And it's kind of nice because it looks like this has given us some even numbers here to work with. Right now, when I look at this, I'm thinking that I could change this to a three. And that would, that would fix the sodiums. And if I changed it to a three, that would also fix the hydrogens and maybe the nitrogen. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to change this to a three. Then I'll have to update everything. So now I have one times three. That's three plus the one sodium here. The sodiums are balanced. With the nitrogen, I have one times three. That's three plus the one nitrogen here. Those are balanced. Hydrogen, two times three, that's six. Those are balanced. Oxygens are balanced. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So it's a little bit tricky because you end up with needing to change a coefficient twice. Sometimes that makes it a little more difficult. But this is the correct balanced equation for NaNH2 plus NaNO3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.